This horde means a lot to me because it recognizes what I've tried to do here on the farm. Um, my dad died 13 years ago and it has allowed me to um, better the land and better the condition of the land, better the water, the creeks, and it's also allowed me to give water to my cows. Uh, the, the land was in pretty poor condition uh, when my father passed away and um, I wanted to be able to have more cows and utilize the land in better ways. Like I said, the, the water cover crops and years like this year, the cover crops have saved me a whole lot of money in fertilizer and, and seed and, and it's made it be able to at least break even. It's in my blood. Fifth generation. If it, if it wasn't in my blood and I didn't love it, I wouldn't be doing it. I promise you. Sixth generation. Um, yeah, if I, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't be doing it. It's, it's still a lot of fun when you see baby calves born, when you um, grow vegetables and you can eat. You know, you're, you're providing for your family in a way that nobody else can. And I'm letting my boys grow up in a way that I was raised and it teaches them hard work. It teaches them um, responsibility. It teaches them all kinds of characteristics that they can carry on in their lives when I'm not here. Reach out to your soil and water rep. Reach out and they'll, they'll help you. They'll give you a plan. They'll work with you the whole time. They'll give you their recommendation and they'll also receive some feedback from you to, to where you can work it out what's best practices for you, not just what they think is, you know, by the book. They, they, wanna, they wanna help you. And that's important uh, on a small farm like this in Wake County. For it to be able to survive, you've got to have, you gotta use all your resources and um, everything that you can to be able to make things work.